You can save money with a hoopty, but let me tell you, you can save even more if you turn your hoopty into a home. So I got a tour for you today. Uh, the minivan hoopty has been turned into a home for the summer. So we're gonna get a tour of uh, a, a van life tour. So how long have you been living in this van? <laughs> okay, I've been living in this van for uh, a month and a half. A month and a half? Yeah. It doesn't stink, so it's pretty good. <laughs> so, uh, like, uh, how, what's the layout of this place? Okay, so I have, this cart has like all of my toiletries, cosmetics, has like laundry soap, books, kind of activities I guess, random things I need, vitamins. Um, then I have some of my Reflectix here. These are like What's the Reflectix for? The Reflectix are window covers. Oh, so okay. it blocks out the light at night and helps keep the heat. Am I allowed in? Uh, no, no shoes. Oh. Yeah. I'll in. I have to take my shoes off to go in here. <laughs> I pretty much I don't really get in through here very often unless I'm parked somewhere where there's nobody around. Otherwise, I just climb in through here and then I put down the center and then walk back. And what? my shoes only go in the front. I don't ever bring my shoes back there. It's like ultra, ultra clean. <laughs> and then in here, um, back here I have my cooler. I don't know how I can see that. I can turn on a light for you. Um, and then I have my Jackery 300, which I pretty much never have to charge anywhere. I house it, I've house it occasionally, and then I charge it there, or I just come back here to mom and dad. How many plugs on that thing? Two, um, what are these, like, regular? Yeah. And then I've got these two USB. Nice. And then a 12 volt, and you can charge it by your car. Or by wall. So, how big is your cooler? My cooler is a 45 liter. Nice. And it's a pretty good size. And I have like a basket in there too, which is really nice. Um, it did leak when I got it, but Dad fixed it with some <laughs> plumber's putty. <laughs> you so, can fix a leaking yeah. cooler with plumber's putty. Yeah. And so I have a rug here too because there's like all this plastic pieces and it's really uneven and I stub my toe a couple of times. This makes it a little bit softer and cute. Um, and then I have like, this is my shower towel, some snacks, a book. I will empty this whenever I get like takeout or something and I want to sit in the bed and like open up the back and just watch Tailgate. the sunset. I use this as a table. So where do you um, sleep? What's the sleeping This is where like? I sleep. Where do I sleep? Um, some of the stuff under the cot comes up a little bit too high, so I pulled out this mattress. Plus, it makes it a little bit more comfy. So, I just have this, uh, what is it, um, what's the brand? Big, Big Agnes. Big Agnes, yeah. And it's pretty comfortable. I don't feel anything underneath it. And then I have a blanket in case. I have some other extra blankets as well, but I mostly only use this one. And then I have a lantern back here. And I have that back pillow, which is really nice. And if I open up the back and I'm watching the view or whatever, I just flip this back here. And sometimes I'll put stuff like the laundry bag to prop up again so it sits up a little better. Um, and then I have some lights back here. Yeah. And they kind of just oh, go oh. along. So, um, <laughs> and I have more of the Reflectix. You're yeah. taking after your dad, lighting up everything. <laughs> yeah. So you, you put coverings on all the windows when you're in here? Yeah, I usually I like start in the front and then I just move back. And then when I'm putting them away, I go backwards. On the back window, I had to use some Velcro because it kept falling down. But the rest, you just tuck them in. Mm -hmm. I also learned that on these... Uh, vent windows, it's easier to put up the Reflectix and then open the vent if mm -hmm. I want it, than to do it the other way. Um, you got your bike in here? I got my bike. It fits pretty well. I don't use it super often, but it's nice to have, and it's nice when I'm house-sitting too, and I can just run around. So is all your clothes underneath? 
Yes, I keep all of my clothes in these baskets. I thought about getting bins, but the baskets are nice because it's more modular and I can just take out, because there's not a lot of room mm -hmm. this way. So it's kind of like a little uh, jigsaw bit. I'll just like, if I need, to, my pants are back there, shirts, and then like pajamas, underwear. And so if I need to get pants, I'll just like slide it this way. And then I can kind of open it. Um, oh, and yes. you have some crazy blocks underneath oh, yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to prop up the cot a bit, because I wanted more space, dad installed these like wood uh, like two by fours, which he cut out a little hole for the legs of the cot. And then um, he cut me some little pieces of plywood to put under, which I have one piece under each corner to make it a little bit higher. Uh, but also then if it's uneven, I can prop up one side and then I can sleep on like a slight incline, which is nice. Um, this is a table that pulls out. so. Uh, like dad asked about like if I tailgate I can open up the trunk and the other night I actually set up the table and then I could like boil some water for tea which is really nice um, and I have the yoga mat back here more reflectix bear spray for, Except for bear or for people, people. <laughs> and then I also have a knife here let me see if I can get it out that's a it's a big one so Ah. That's good. It also has flint, but that's not really applicable this summer. But it's pretty cool, and I use it for backpacking too. Um, and then I also have all my backpacking gear back here, and in a bin behind this basket, I have extra towels or blankets. So, right so this is an awkward question. Yeah. Where do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> bushes and I go to a lot of parks and I just try to be strategic if I hang out with friends I use their bathroom before I leave I when I go to get breakfast I only usually go to places that I can stop but I go to a lot of parks in Bellingham and yeah at night it, it's hard and in the morning like the first <laughs> when you wake up like to wake up it's like I'd like to just be able to go to the bathroom and like drink coffee but all in van life, all those things I have to be around people first. That's probably the most challenging part <laughs> of getting going. But otherwise, it's like it's not too bad. And thankfully, there are a lot of parks, and there are places that I can shower for free too, which is nice as well. And then into the so pretty put much puts a a damper on going shopping and buying stuff. Yeah, I don't really just food. And gear. Oh, you've got a spare tire in the back. <laughs> yeah, my spare tire doesn't fit under the, well, it just, the holder yeah. doesn't work anymore. And this is, it's easier to access right here. So I have it here. I have a bag of stuff that as I've been going, I realize I don't use or need. So I've been kind of putting it here and I can just drop it off to my storage unit. And then I have bins, bin loads, I mean. Uh, I found that it was easier to just leave some of the bins open and then I could just grab it without having to open it underneath. In here I have food, random food things, which mostly is just helpful when I'm house sitting because then I, I have some stuff of my own. And then I have my backpacking backpack and then a bin of shoes. And I keep some shoes up front too, just based on whatever activity I'm doing the most at that time. So what's the coolest place you, you've uh, stayed overnight at? Um, probably the home rainforest. I just kind of was, I, I went backpacking in there and I parked just off of the road on the way in. And then the night after I just parked along, there was like some gravel parking by a beach and I just slept there. Um, but I've also camped up in Baker, which is really nice too. Yeah, so that's the... So how much money do you think you saved? <laughs> Well, if I had gotten an apartment, I would have had, you can't really find anything in Bellingham for less than a thousand a month. So that's like two months, 2000, and then utilities. Um, I spend a lot on food, but I would be right. also spending money on food anyway. So, nice. and then I get to eat a lot of good food. Um, and then the cooler, I access it usually from this side, it's easier and it can drain from this side. And then in this bin, I have a bunch of cooking 
thing. So I've got my little stove, my pocket rocket, so I can boil water. Um, yeah, and then my yoga mat and water filter, which is nice because Sometimes it's not super great to have to always drink water from like drinking fountain stuff or what I'll do it like I'll go to the sinks and the bathrooms and fill it up and then filter it. It's nice. And oh yeah, you were asking me about the tailgating too and the other day I set up the I like had the back open. I like to park it along the water and then watch the sunset because there's really good spots. And I actually knocked the lids out. And then when I was leaning to get the lids, I put too much weight on the back of the cot and it just dumped me out. And I like scraped my wrist and like fell out into the dark. And I had to rearrange and pick everything up and put the cot back in the holes. It was like a whole, it was a mess, but it was funny. Okay. Yeah. You have a plant in your- Oh yeah, I have a plant too. Plant. This okay. plant has been very resilient, thankfully. Okay, this is kind of... This is going a step too far it, right here. No, it's yeah. nice. It makes it homey, and this... No, but the holder, it's just wow. Oh, the macrame? Just wow, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, this was nice. Like, even when I backpacked, I was gone for three nights, and I kept all the window covers on the entire time, so I didn't get any light, and I forgot to water it ahead of time, and it was fine. And then I just have, these are my front window covers, the windshield, and I have like some cleaning wipes, the shoes I wear the most, I have a little, food. this I felt like it was a good idea because having any kind of food or trash in the car can easily make it smell, and the trash cans I was going to buy were basically the same as like one gallon, so I... You just seal I it just up. Sealed it up, so it's nice. a sink. Yeah. Well, chat. I keep there, like band-aids and stuff in here. And... There you have it. Uh, hoopty like squared, like hoopty for your car and your house. Like, yeah. wow. Also, another aspect of this being a hoopty is that there is no aux port. So I actually just listen to all my music on this speaker, <laughs> which works yeah. pretty well. I just put it on the dash and then it's loud enough. Wow, I'm impressed. Thanks. I'm impressed. If your brothers did this, it, I don't think it would turn out that, like this. <laughs> I have to clean it. I like a tidy and clean Look, space, so I have to clean it a lot. Fine, but fine. But I don't clean the outside very Fine, much. fine body work. <laughs> very nice. Yes. Oh, and this is my neighbor kids. My old neighbor kids named it the Cindermobile. So that's what its, that's what its name is. Nice. Yeah. Looks perfect. Thanks. It's actually very cozy. You can insert pictures of what it looks like with the reflectix at night. It's very cozy. When you're oh. when you're combined house and vehicle cost or uh, uh, asset price is about what <laughs> fifteen hundred bucks. Yeah. I'm impressed. I'll, I also have like a tapestry that I hang up uh, with the like wood artwork. Shades. Kind of, it's pretty and it makes it extra cozy. Okay, that's just going like way too far. <laughs> too cozy. I got this for free too, and it's really nice. Someone's getting rid of it. So I just like hang it, and it just makes it a little bit roomier. <laughs> and that's that's the way that I face, so it's pretty, yeah. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> Welcome to the van. There it is, van life. Van life done done low, way better than I would. Van life. <laughs>